today's video, we are checking out the Bunch family cargo bike, specifically their electric version. If you're interested in this bike, this is gonna be an overview for you. If you're in the market for one and you don't live nearby, make sure to find a coupon code that you can use below. Gets you a little bit of money off, it gets me a commission, and it works out for everyone. If you're local, you still save money by coming in and buying direct from me. You're saving on shipping and building the bike. Hello and welcome. If you're new here, I'm Arlie with Bike Shop Girl. I own a family cyclery here in Colorado where I'm focused on empowering families to get on the bike and leave the car at home. This mission is exactly why I brought in the Bunch bikes in late 2019. They really fit in with that mentality. And today I wanna to talk to you about what I think of the bike as an overview, who I think it's for. This isn't gonna be an encompassing review where I'm comparing it to other bikes that I carry, but I will try to answer the questions as if you're in front of me coming in for a test ride. Getting started, the bike behind us is their electric assist model starting at $3,500. The bars up here are additional and that can hold a rain cover or a sun top. Super nice for our weather here in Denver, Colorado. So for $3,500, you're getting an electric assist bike. What that means is you have to be pedaling to kick in the electric assist. It just takes your pedaling power and amplifies it at the hub to make you go a little bit faster and further for the energy you're putting in. This is using a rear hub motor, so everything is encompassed inside of your rear hub, and it does get a little bit of a sensation that you're being pushed. Um, I like to look at this as a tool and not a bike because it does feel a little bit differently. So the core people that are test riding and buying this I call it a double stroller replacement. You can go further and faster than your double stroller. You have a lot of kids. Uh, one of my friends that purchased this bike has three kids and she needed something reliable and safe for her nanny or au pair to ride to school, which is like less than a mile. And they have the cover so the kids are nice and dry no matter the weather. Some of the biggest questions I get about this bike how does it handle and what do I think of the electric assist? It really handles differently than anything I've ever ridden. It's kind of like taking the rear end of a bicycle and attaching it to a wheelbarrow or a shopping cart with fixed wheels on the front. Due to being a trike, I have to slow down fairly significantly to turn and it doesn't handle going downhill at high speeds super well just because so much of your weight is on the top of those two wheels. So if you hit any bumps or cracks in the road going at a high speed, it can kind of move under you and, and bump you around. And if you're a new cyclist, that can be really unnerving, especially if you have your kids or dogs up front. So the whole box itself moves separately of your rear bicycle frame and the rear bicycle frame will also kind of tip to one side or the other to help counter steer the box. This is why turning this bike can be a little bit unnerving if you're going quickly. If you're going slow, it feels nice and stable, kind of like steering one of those really long shopping carts at Target. The reason I brought in the bunch specifically is they switched from having a throttle on their bike, which often got stuck, and only having a pedal assist. They cover the motor and battery for a two-year warranty, which honestly I think is what you'll see on the battery itself. They're not super expensive batteries compared to a Bosch, but my guess is you'll need one if you reliably ride this for two years. I don't see the customers that are interested in this bike riding 20 to 40 miles a day. So I don't think you're gonna blow up the hub motor like I've seen on some other bikes. They limit this at 15 miles per hour, which means it's a class one electric bike. 
in the controller, you can change that, but having ridden it, I don't know if I would wanna go more than 15 miles per hour. Personally, I ride it between nine and 11 miles per hour, and I'm very happy with that. Electric assist, I think it will last easily within those two years. If you ride it often, you'll probably need a new battery. But for $3,500, if you're looking to replace car trips around your neighborhood, um, not really playing in traffic a ton, I really think you should test ride this bike. It's not gonna be replacing my daily bike, which is an Urban Arrow, because I'm a cyclist and I really love the, the feel of a two wheel bike carving and I can master it in really uh, technical switchy, you know, like downtown traffic. But if you're a casual rider, if you're a stay at home mom, if you're looking for a bike for your nanny or your au pair, or maybe you have four small kids that need to be weatherproofed and you're not gonna be going more than five miles at a time. I think this is a bike worth checking out. It's not gonna replace a higher end cargo bike, but it might be exactly what you need so that you don't drive the two miles to go get your coffee with your kids in the morning. I'm gonna be working on a whole series of these videos, including my recommended accessories, the ways to use the electric bike controller, and then finally my full review, which as always is gonna be very brutally honest, but I do believe in this bike. You just have to make sure it's for you and not just a cheap alternative to something that would probably do better in your life. So remember, check out the coupon code below if you're in the market for one, and make sure you hit subscribe if you're interested at all in the idea of leaving your car at home more often, replacing car trips with bike trips, or just riding more often with your family. Until the next video, this was Arlie with Bike Shop Girl.